Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn how you can automatically add new subscriber in your ConvertKit from your Google Sheets. Here, Google Sheets and ConvertKit are two very different applications and there is no direct connection between Google Sheets and ConvertKit. That's why we are going to integrate both of these applications with the help of an integration software that is Babli Connect. So that whenever a new row is created in Google Sheets, Babli Connect will automatically add subscriber in ConvertKit. And you know what the best part is? This process requires no coding knowledge and any non-technical person can also do this easily. So let's begin with an example and learn the whole process. Okay, so this is my Google Sheets and this is my subscribers list. Okay, for this is empty for now. So here in the Google Sheets, we are going to add a new row and it will be added as subscriber in this convert kit. Okay, before that, I just want to tell you that we are adding mail ID here. Okay, so your convert kit account is going to send a confirmation email on this particular ID, whichever you are adding in this email section and that person has to confirm the subscription then only he or she will be added in this subscribers list okay so here I'm going to add a new row and a new entry that is Ryan Glasgow okay here the mail ID Glasgow Ryan zero five eight at the rate gmail.com okay and here I'm going to add a mobile number okay now here I'm going to check this email ID whether we received the email or not okay so here I'm going to refresh it okay so the email is here so let me just click on it okay okay so here we have to click on this confirm your subscription okay so just click on it okay and the subscription is confirmed now I'm going to check my convert kit subscribers list okay so here I'm going to refresh the page okay and here this person is added as subscriber this is confirmed subscriber so that's how we have sent the data from google sheets to convertkit now to initiate the process let's type pably.com in the new tabs browser okay here type pably dot com press enter okay so this is the site of pably here we have to click on products and we have to click on connect Okay, so this is the landing page of Public Connect. Here we have to click on sign in. As I've already created my account, that's why I'm directly signing in. You can also sign up for free just in two minutes with the help of this sign up free button over here. So just click on sign in. And this is my account. Here I'm going to scroll it down and going to click on connect access now. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pably Connect. Here I'm going to create a workflow with the help of this create workflow button. Just click on it. Okay, here you have to name your workflow. So I'm going to name it as Google Sheets to Convert Get. Okay, now click on create. Okay, so this is the name of my workflow. So here I would like to mention that I will add the link of this workflow in the description box. You can directly clone it and directly access it into your account. Okay, so here whenever you click on create, these two windows will appear. This window is known as trigger window and this window is known as action window. You might be thinking what is this trigger or action. So let me tell you, whenever we talk about automation in Pably Connect, it works on the concept of triggers and action. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Suppose in this use case, whenever a new row is added in Google Sheets will be a trigger and add it as subscriber in ConvertKit will be action of this process. So here, firstly, in the trigger window, we're going to choose a trigger application and going to connect our trigger application with Pably Connect. That means Google Sheets with Pably Connect. So here in the trigger window in choose app section, write Google Sheets. Okay, and this is Google Sheets. Now the trigger event. So trigger event is new spreadsheet row. 
okay so here whenever we will be we will be just selecting this trigger event and this application we'll be getting this webhook url okay so this webhook url is helpful in connecting publicly connect with google sheets okay so what we have to do next we have to follow these steps okay so here i'm going to back to my google sheets and here i have created this google sheet that is convert kit leads okay the fields are first name last name email and mobile now here i would like to mention that always open your google sheets in incognito window or make sure your all the google accounts will be closed except the one in which you are opening the google sheets okay otherwise it will cause a error in your workflow okay so here i'm going to add a new entry here and then we'll be showing you what we are going to do next okay so this is public connect window once more i'm showing you and here we are following these steps okay so here i'm going to this convert lead convert kit leads and here i'm going to add some random name so suppose any and here malhotra okay so email id malhotra any 930 at the rate gmail dot com. Okay, now here the mobile number, some random one. Okay, so we are done with the details. Now what we are going to do? We are going to click on this extensions. Okay, here and we are going to click on add-ons and here in the get add-on section. Okay, now here we are going to search for Public Connect webhooks. Okay, this one, and we have to install it. As I've already installed in my system, that's why I'm not bothering it. You have to install the Public Connect webhooks. Okay, and I'm closing it, and make sure you should refresh your Google Sheets. Okay, now here in the extension section, click again, and here add-ons. and here it will be visible that is public connect webhook okay so here you have to click on initial setup okay so let me just shift it here okay now here in the public connect go back and here we have to copy this okay so just copy this webhook url and here go back to this and here i thought some kind of webhook url is already there so i'm just erasing it Okay, so here I'm going to paste the URL that I have just copied. Okay, let me show you again this one. Okay, and it is waiting for webhook response. So just click on it. Okay, so I have just clicked on it. Now going back to this Google Sheets, and here I'm going to choose a trigger column. Okay, so the trigger column is the column up to which you want to capture your data. Okay, so here one that is A, B, C, D. all the four columns are here so i want to capture the data from up to d so here that's why the last column is added here as trigger column so i'm going to click on save and send, sorry test send test request okay so test data sent successfully so here what you have to do you have to mention the webhook url and you have to mention the trigger column and you have to send test okay so here i'm going back to public connect and here we have received the response that means we have got the details of this any malhotra first name last name email id mobile now going back to google sheets and going to submit it okay now make sure in this extension and this addons and this public connect webhook your send on event must be this tick one okay otherwise it will not capture the next entry that you will add up after this entry okay so here i'm going back to my public connect window and here we have successfully captured the details from google sheets to public connect now we are sending the details from public connect to convert kit okay so here in this section application i'm going to choose it as convert kit okay now convert kit and here the action event so action event is add a new subscriber okay so here add subscriber to a form okay so here click on connect and here we have to add a new connection and we'll be requiring api key and api secrets so you have to follow this step or you can just simply click on this account sec setting section okay now here scroll it down and here the api key is visible okay so just copy it 
and go back to public connect and here paste it okay now the secret key again go back to account settings and this is api secret so just click on show and here scroll it down again and you can just copy it now paste it here in this secret section okay now here you have to save the credentials okay now we are successfully connected pably connect with convert kit okay now here what we have to do we have to select the form we have to select the first name email and text tags okay and occupation and phone number so here what we have to do let me just show you i'm going back to my convert kit and here in this landing pages and forms okay so here i have newly created this leads form okay so i'm going to fill the uh, i'm going to add subscriber in this particular form okay so i've created this form now i'm going to show you the tag okay so here in the subscribers section just click on it and here scroll it down and here i have added this tag or i have created this tag that is google sheet so i'm going to add a subscriber in this particular tag okay so here all the things will be visible so let me just show you in public connect here the form is visible so all those form that are in your convert kit account will be visible okay so let me just show you again okay so these are all the form that is monetary form powell form testing form everything is visible and everything is visible there too in the drop down so i'm going to select this form okay and here i'm going to add this first name email text everything okay so here i'm going to click on this and here i'm going to fill this field okay so this is any okay and here the email id okay this is the email id in first name section it is by default so you can add it as last name also so here i can add a last name also i just forgot to add okay so here the email id is done tags you can select the tag okay so this is the tag i have already shown you that i have created this google sheets tag so i'm going to select this okay and here the occupation not very interested and the phone number so i'm going to add the phone number as from this drop down okay now let me just go back here and show you one thing that i have directly added this field i just forgot to mention that you can add these details from the drop down that is this is the drop down now all the details of above window here these will be visible in the drop down section okay here in this so make sure that you should map from here okay so this is easiest way to map the data and here we are done with it so now i'm going to click on this save and send test request just click on it and here we have received the response and this mail id might got a confirmation email so let's check this mail id here okay okay so this is the mailbox and here this is the email that is admin at the rate public.com just click on it and here let me just open it and here thanks for signing up and we have to confirm the subscription then only it will be added as subscriber in convert kit okay so just confirm the subscription and the subscription confirmed okay so now go back to this convert kit and here i'm going to select the subscribers list here and here i'm going to scroll it down and here it is successfully added that is any malhotra okay so that means the lead that has been added here has been successfully added as a subscriber in this convert kit okay so that's how we have connected google sheets with convert kit with the help of public connect now i'm going back to public connect and here i'm minimizing the windows and we'll be summarizing what we have done basically okay so here what we have done we have connected google sheets with convert kit okay so here first we have collected the data from google sheets to public connect and then we have sent the data from public connect to convert kit in this manner we have connected these two applications 
and not just these two software, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. Link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is given in the description. For any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com, admin at the rate pabbly.com. And if you really found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much for watching.